Hey everybody, it's Diane Gill here from the blog and YouTube channel Sustainable Slow Living and today you and I are going to make a chai spiced cacao. This um, is going to be an indulgent velvety beverage that um, is much more nutritious for you than hot cocoa. I am not opposed to cocoa powder, um, but cocoa powder and cacao powder both come from the same bean. They come from the cacao bean. Cocoa powder is processed at a high temperature and loses a lot of its nutrients. And cacao is processed at a very low temperature, so low that they still consider cacao nibs and cacao powder to be a raw food. So cacao still has um, the nutrients of the cacao bean intact. And chai, if you're not familiar with it, is um, most times you'll read that it's from India, but the fact is chai is a spice blend uh, that is found in many different continents. Um, and it varies by... Um, countries by cultures even down to families different families will make their chai blend a different way but we tend to think of it as a spice blend that's from India I do know that in India it's a street beverage you can pick it up uh, pretty readily it's pretty readily available on the street I don't know if it's served both hot and cold there but I know that it can be served both hot and cold and it is delicious either way Chai um, beverages usually have uh, a lot of milk. They're very creamy and they're very sweet. Chai spices are usually mixed with black tea. The spices are generally more potent than the tea flavor. So today we're going to change that up a little bit and we're going to take the chai spices and we're going to mix them with cacao and we are going to use plant milk as our base so that we're nice and creamy and i'm going to use honey as a sweetener you know that i don't like things super sweet so i'm going to put two tablespoons of honey for two cups of plant milk which to me is an awful lot but you can certainly sweeten your beverage any way that you want to so i'm going to take you over to the stove with me and we're going to get started today so I have just two cups of plant milk in this saucepan and I've turned the heat on to high because I want it to start to heat up. I'm going to turn it down before it starts to simmer because I don't want it to scorch. You can use any kind of plant milk that you like. I'll be honest, I was trying to find cashew milk when I was in the store because I adore cashew milk and it's a little bit thicker and creamier than some of the other plant milks, but they didn't have any. I also have a recipe for homemade oat milk on the blog, so I'll put a link for that um, down below. I can't remember if I did a YouTube video for that or not because it was one of the first posts that I ever put out. So if there's a YouTube video, I'll give you a link for that as well. I chose to use this today. Um, it's a brand that I like. It is toasted coconut and almond milk blend. I liked the idea that it was toasted coconut because I thought that that would add some good flavor to the chai spiced cacao. And then I'm gonna spice this up pretty heavy. I'm going to use powdered spices for this today for everything but the anise stars because that will impart more flavor into the milk. And then once they've had some time, um, I'll bring this to a simmer and when they've had some time to steep, maybe 10 minutes, I'll just uh, strain everything out. So I have one teaspoon of ground cinnamon here. And I have uh, one teaspoon of cardamom. I have a half a teaspoon of cloves. I have three quarter teaspoon of ginger, a half a teaspoon of a medium coarse ground pepper, and three anise stars. And I'm just gonna put that all right in and whisk it up. 
And then I'm gonna bring that just to a simmer. You really don't want to overheat it. And once it gets just to a simmer, I'm gonna take it off of the burner and I'm gonna let it sit and steep for 10 or 15 minutes. So I have this mesh strainer here and it's pretty fine. So I'm just gonna run this through the strainer. And there we go. I did have to pour what was in the strainer back into the pot, rinse the strainer, and then re-pour it back into the strainer to finish because there was enough spices in there that it clogged it up. But um, now that I have that drained, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put three tablespoons of cacao in here. I'm gonna put one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm going to put two tablespoons of honey. I'm gonna mix this up really well put it back in the pot and heat it up again. Okay, here we are. This is still nice and warm, but it's cooled down a lot because I was taking pictures. Um, so it is drinking temperature. It smells amazing. I've had little tastes of it because I've had to clean the edge of the rim of the cup in order to get pictures. But I am really looking forward to that first sip. So here it goes. Mm. very nice if you like chai you're gonna love this if you've never had chai you need to give it a try this is so much better than hot chocolate and the nutrients are still intact we never boiled that cacao we never heated it to a point where it could destroy all of those nutrients so this is a good healthy beverage and it is perfect perfect for cozying up under a fluffy blanket and watching a movie or reading a book on a chilly evening. So make yourself a cup. You're gonna enjoy it. And thank you so much for joining me here today. You and I are going to get together again and we're gonna do it really soon.